Hi, this is Chef Avinash and welcome to another episode of Cooking from Home. Today I'm getting you a recipe which is a fish head and a raw mango curry. Quite interesting that we use the center part of the fish, we make fillets out of it, we make dance out of it, we fry it, we bake it. But what happens to the, to the head and the tail? So let's combine these two ingredients and make an interesting curry which is the fish head and raw mango curry. So the ingredients what I have here, uh, I've got about 300 uh, grams of uh, fish head and tail both mixed. Uh, also uh, my masala paste, okay, uh, let me start by uh, telling you the dry ingredients. I've got cumin, I've got turmeric, I've got coriander, tamarind, two type of chili, one is the champana which gives a nice uh, taste and one is the Kashmiri chili which is going to give you the color. I've got uh, black peppercorns, I've got dried uh, mango, garlic. Coming on to the wet ingredients, I've got uh, coconut, green chili, sliced onion and raw mango. Uh, this is the raw mango basically which has come out of uh, my tree out here. So again my approach is uh, eat local, eat fresh. So I've peeled the raw mango and just sliced it up. And I've got extra virgin coconut oil and some salt to do the seasoning. First step I'm going to do is I'm going to salt my fish heads with some salt. I'm going to leave it for about 15 minutes and while I make my paste. So I've kept aside the raw mango which has to be added to the curry later. I'm going to make a paste out of the rest of the ingredients. So it's been 20 minutes. My fish has been marinating. Uh, I've ground the masala into a paste. Uh, I've done it on a wet grinder, on a grinding stone. So basically this is the paste and I've reserved a little bit of the water from the grinding stone. So I'm going to start off, I've got a pan which is uh, heating up here. You need a medium to hot pan. I'll be using extra virgin coconut oil. Any other oil substitutes can be fine. You can use a vegetable oil, you can use an olive oil which is a pomace or a uh, cooking uh, quality. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be sauteing my paste in the oil. It's hot. Want to come a little closer? Um, it's begin to real, uh, release the oils. I can get the beautiful aroma of the spices we ground. At this point, I'm going to add in my marinated fish head and fish bones. Give it a quick stir. Now I'm going to be adding the water from the ground masala. And I'm going to be adding some more water. Again the consistency, you want a nice velvety creamy consistency. Uh, some uh, pref uh, people prefer it quite thick, some people want it thin, I like mine to be like a medium one, so this is the right consistency I would say. I will adding a little more because this has to simmer for a good 15 to 20 minutes. I don't want the fish uh, getting overcooked as well. So I'm going to cover this and keep it for 10 so it's about 10 minutes, uh, my curry started simmering. At this point is where I'm going to add my raw mangoes. I don't want the raw mangoes to be too mushy in the curry. I just want that a little bit of a bite. Uh, 
all looks wonderful I'm gonna just check seasoning it needs some salt Little stir. And another 10 minutes max. So the curry has been simmering for a good 15 minutes. If you see the consistency of the curry, it's nice and thick. And we've got our raw mango just cooked right for a nice bite to it. And obviously the fish is come out good. Yummy. So as my son approves, uh, here's your uh, raw mango and fish head curry and please enjoy it with some uh, ukre tandoor or uh, boiled rice or a uh, poi or a palm. Right? Thank you and thanks for watching the video.